topic, everybody. So first question that we're going to hit in this series is how do I go about actually writing the code for my application for the Vision Pro? And the answer to that is, well, on your MacBook, which unfortunately you're going to have to have, and using Xcode, which is the environment and application that Apple has made that they expect you to use for all sorts of Apple development, whether it's for the iPhone, whether it's for Apple TV, whether it's for Vision Pro, it's all going to be on this one application. So on the screen here, we've got at developer.apple.com slash Xcode, uh, a little overview on what this application is. And again, uh, it's a developer environment. If you worked with other coding languages, working things like websites, it's similar to things you may have used like Visual Studio Code or something with JetBrains. But again, this is specific just to Apple products. So Xcode 15, you'll see a download button right here. We don't need the beta so much anymore, so we'll focus on just the major release. Should be the most stable. It'll direct you to an App Store link which will open in the App Store. It's a little bit big, but again, if you're wanting to write code or build apps, you're going to need this. So if you get to this page and you don't have it, go ahead and click Install. And when it's done, I'll catch you back here where we will open it up and make sure we're set up for coding. OK, awesome. So it should be installed by now. And what we'll do first, again, is just open up Xcode. You'll land on this landing page here, all the other things that you've been working on will pop up here on the right-hand side. If you've been coding for a while, you can disregard those for now. We'll hit more of this as we go. but. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do if you're brand new to having this code set up is make sure that you are configured well for working with Vision Pro. And to do that, I'm going to first jump up to Window and then go down to Devices and Simulators. This is where all your simulator environments are going to be. And this is what you'll be able to run code on. If you have a headset you want to test quickly, uh, it may be faster in a lot of cases just to push it straight to the sim and then save your actual device testing for later. Uh, if you have it, it's probably more fun just to work on the headset. But for those of you who don't have it, it's actually a pretty um, holistic environment for actually building and testing applications. So uh, no shame in building out Apple Vision Pro apps, even if you don't have a Vision Pro on hand, at least not yet. Uh, so you'll see for me, I have some watch OS simulators. I've got some iPhone simulators, some iPad, and I've got a couple Vision Pro or uh, Vision OS simulators. You likely won't have a whole lot of these if this is your first install of Xcode. And that's fine. So all you'll do is click this plus sign on the bottom, and this is how we'll actually add things to the Vision Pro, or the Xcode environment for working with Vision Pro. You can look through here, and you see we have Vision Pro here on the bottom. That may or may not be installed for you, and if it's not, you likely won't have an OS version. If you don't have anything in this block here, then that's fine. You'll click Download More Simulator Runtimes, and you'll see down here Vision OS 1.0. I have it already, so it's not showing a Git link. I don't have tvOS. So if I wanted to work with Apple TV, then getting that installed would be a priority. And I don't have watch. So uh, for you, you'll likely see a bunch of these Git buttons. Make sure you look down for where the Vision OS simulator is. Click Install. And you should only need the, the main one here. So uh, if you see that, hit Git. It'll install. Again, they're pretty like large when it comes to size. But uh, again, necessary for this sort of work. It'll install, download the whole nine. And once that's ready, you come back, name it whatever you want. I already have one called Caleb VP, so I won't actually create it, but you'll hit Create, and it will add that simulator to your environment. Now uh, that we have that confirmed that it's working, we'll jump back to Xcode. And if you want to build a Vision Pro app, what you're going to do is just click Create New Project. You'll see on the top here we have all the different environments that you could build products for, whether that's iOS, Mac OS, Watch OS, and in our case, Vision OS. So we'll make sure we have that selected. We're going to go ahead and click on App. Next, and we'll say this is just a starter app. The rest of this information uh, may say none. There may be something here may not be. Uh, I like to have it, my own personal team on there for anything that's not company or business related. Uh, identifier is not going to be a huge issue right now. And the rest of this you can leave just the way it is for the time being. You'll click Next. It'll ask you to save it. Click Create. And you'll have the default app that they always dump out whenever you start a new Apple Vision Pro project with those settings, at least in particular. You should have a window now that has a canvas on the right-hand side where you can see your changes uh, in near real time. This is what this code right here has communicated this screen to build out. Um, so if you've landed on this page here, you're in the right place. And if you want to test that this is actually pushing this correctly to your simulator, you can look by clicking on this uh, link right here, starter, click on the device. And we can just say, hey, run this on a simulator. And then all you do is click Play. You'll see this build the application right here in the top right. We won't go too far into this for the portion of this video, but we should see in a moment here at least this simulator window pop up. 
this will be a good indicator to know that again all of our codes compiling correctly everything that we have installed is installed and working and communicating well with Xcode and so long as the same window that we just saw in the bottom right pops up here for us then we are in the right spot so we'll see it's loading in uh, really fun to play with these environments if you haven't already uh, a lot of cool things going on here but yeah our demo app is working the buttons work as intended uh, so if you have anything like this where you're in a scene you can render an immersive black environment where two other 3d spheres pop up then you are in the exact right spot and yeah that's it for video one so getting xcode set up and installed that's what it looks like